Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and we are in the middle of the 100 days, 100 disease series where every day I discuss about a new disease. So today we will discuss about neuroleptic malignant syndrome. This is very very important topic and several type questions came in NEET PG, USMLE, PLAB examination. So let us learn about neuroleptic malignant syndrome, NMS. So usually NMS or neuroleptic malignant syndrome is associated with use of neuroleptic drugs. So when you take neuroleptic drugs like phenothiazine, butyrophenone and thioxanthine, these are the three important drugs which is associated with neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Phenothiazine, butyrophenone and thioxanthine. These are the three important drugs and it can cause NMS. Now, in the clinic, what we get for NMS patient? NMS typically develops 24 to 72 hours and it can last from 5 to 10 days. So, within 24 to 72 hours, you can get an NMS and it can last for 5 to 10 days. And basically, the patient presents with typical symptoms like hyperthermia, increase in temperature, hypertonia in the muscles specifically, fluctuation levels of consciousness and autonomic instability. So hyperthermia, hypertonia, fluctuating levels of consciousness, autonomic instability. All these are clinical features of patients with NMS. Another thing is autonomic features. Autonomic features are also common like pallor, the patients develop pallor, the patients develop sweating, fluctuating BP, trachycardia, urinary incontinence and cardiac arrhythmias. So all these can also be found. So along with hypothermia, hypertonia, fluctuating level of consciousness, trachycardia, you can also get sweating, fluctuating BP, urinary incontinence and cardiac arrhythmias. So all these are clinical features. Now, death can also occur between 3 to 30 days and this is due to respiratory failure or cardiovascular collapse, renal failure and cardiac arrhythmias. So you can understand death can also occur between 3 to 30 days and this is due to respiratory failure, cardiovascular collapse, renal failure and cardiac arrhythmias. Now, let us learn about the lab results. What are the things we can get from the lab? Laboratory, we can get uh, leukocytosis with sipped to the left, leukocytosis. And also elevated liver enzymes. The liver enzymes are also elevated in NMS, neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Like uh, you can also get increased in creatine kinase also along with liver enzyme increased. Now, another thing is myoglobinuria. Myoglobinuria means a myoglobin in the urine. That is also a very important classical features of the neuroleptic malignant symptoms. And several times they give you a case where the patient shows myoglobinuria and the answer will be neuroleptic malignant syndrome. So be careful about it. Myoglobinuria, one of the very important laboratory features of neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Along with that, the patient also shows acute renal failure. Renal failure is also found in these kinds of patients. You have to take care of it. So leukocytosis, which generally shifts to the left, elevated liver enzymes, creatine kinase. Along with that, you can also find myoglobinuria and acute renal failure, kidney failure can be found in patients of neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Now let us go for the treatment. The first important treatment is withdrawal of neuroleptic. You need to withdraw the neuroleptic drug that was used. It may be withdrawal of phenothiazine or butyrophenone or uh, thioxanthine. You need to withdraw the neuroleptic drug which is associated with that neuroleptic malignant syndrome patient. Now the second uh, treatment is the supportive treatment. You need to do supportive therapy like you need to uh, do aggressive hydration 
and you need to do reduction of body temperature. This is also very, very important because these patients, neuroleptic malignant syndrome, they are associated with hyperthermia. So you need to treat the patients with reduction of body temperature along with uh, aggressive hydration. Supportive care is needed. Withdrawal of the neuroleptic drug is needed. The very important drug is dantrolene. You can use dantrolene and bromokiptin. These two are very, very important. Dantrolene and bromokiptin. Dantrolene and bromokiptin. 2.5 to 10 mg TID. TID means three times a day. 2.5 mg to 10 mg TID. Three times a day. Dantrolene or uh, you can give bromocryptin or you can give together like dantrolene and bromocryptin 2.5 to 10 mg TID. This is one of the very uh, important treatment for neuroleptic malignant syndrome. Now, this is the end of this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe this channel. We have many more medical videos. You can watch our playlist. You can visit our playlist on medicine. We have many videos on medicine. And you can also watch our playlist pathology where we have many videos on pathology. We have also a separate playlist for clinical anatomy. You can watch that also. Recently, we have created a playlist on USMLE and PLAB series. You can watch that so that you can get a lot of knowledge from that. And also you can watch must know disease. Must know disease is a very important playlist. You can watch that and you will get a lot of disease knowledge from that. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, make a thumbs up and please subscribe our channel and write down in the comment section below if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.